Hello and good morning, y'all. Welcome to Night Slink. This game got my attention here on the Steam sale. I was just kind of scrolling through, like, narrative games. And this one popped up, and I had never heard of it. But it sounded, like, perfect for a video and just kind of like my thing. This is supposed to be kind of like a surreal, post-apocalyptic, kind of almost horror-ish thing, like, where I guess you deliver cassette tapes? And I'm hearing this game is, like, 20 to 30 minutes long, so it'd just be a really fun little video to do, I think. Yeah, I picked it up. I don't really know much about, like, what we're getting into. And I'm just very, very interested. So, uh, let's give this a go. See how it's, let's see what it's like. Night's Link does not have a save feature. It must be completed in a single sitting. Good to know. With it being, like, 20 minutes long, that should not be a problem. But I do love me, like, some, uh, some short games. So, let's see what we got here. Hope I got the audio loud enough, too. We're gonna hope. But I have heard this game's just very quiet in general. So we got 76, 88, 96. Be no one in here, right? Yeah, okay, so we gotta go 76, 88. That's really intuitive, actually. Unless that means... Yeah, yeah, 96. I was like, if I flipped that upside down, then what? Still be the same thing. 74, 76. I got the stuff. What am I waiting for? Give it here. You got it. Um. That's the stuff. Alright, I feel like nobody can kind of make up uh, the audio or like what they're saying because like it's very like surreal sounding. <laughs> but uh, yeah. They just said, uh, let's see what the stuff is all about. Thanks. Okay. So now we're going to go to 88. Nice elevator. I like the graphical style here. Cannot go down the stairs. That is not allowed. Can't go up the stairs either. Is that a wheelchair? Is that like a little like Silent Hill nod? I don't know. Whenever I see a wheelchair in a game, I automatically think it's going to be like a little nod to Silent Hill. Doesn't mean it is. Oh, we got a little person there. Oh no, we need 88, not 86. Who's this? Who's this? It's you, isn't it? It is me, isn't it? Alright, you got your tape, sir. Here you go. Wait, I'm doing this for free? Wait. You don't work for free if you offer a service that people want. You don't do it for free. Alright, so we're considered to be a Night Slink, which kind of ties into the title. Alright, so we're going to have to... I guess we're going to do a learn here. Can I talk to you? No? You're just going to look at me? Okay. So it's 90. So we need 96. Hello? There's a baby in there. What do I want? Well, calm the baby down. I got your cassette. There you go, ma'am. Alright, that's all of them. I guess we're driving now. Okay, that was an intro. That was weird. Yeah, this, this could be a weird one to record because, like, the audio is so odd. That's yeah, very surreal. I kind of liked that intro, though. Just looking down and being like, oh, I gotta go to these rooms. Oh, I gotta hand stuff to him through the door. Like, that was really intuitive. I enjoyed that. And I'm intrigued, like, what this even is. But I feel like this is gonna be a game, like, where when I finish up, I'm gonna be more confused than, uh, than I was when I first started. But we'll see. Who knows? Reminds me a lot of this other game I played called Paratopic. Eject. Record. Move tape. New tape. In. Record, right? We gotta wait? I don't know if we gotta wait or not. We do not. Eject. Remove. Over. 
Okay. So I guess we're gonna be doing this for a little bit. What a fun little job, though. This isn't bad. Like, what's on this freaking like Mitch Hedberg stand-up? Who knows? But it's a video game. Video games work in the rule of three, so I'm going to assume we're only going to do three of these. And if we're not doing three, then we'll be doing five. Because that's the video game way. Three. Obviously. You can kind of drive this, too. Nice. So that means chapter two? Okay. We're going 76, 83, 85, 88. Oh, wow. We increased our clientele here. So let's go to 76 first. Again, I'll try and summarize what they say because it's very hard to make out. I know the subtitles are very slow. Or very small, rather. It is me again. And I can hand over the tape, sir. Let's go. You're welcome. This train is I'm glad you think my shit's great, and I'm glad it's starting to make sense, because I'm very confused. Alright, so now we gotta go to 83. This room here, the 78 kind of creeps me out just the end of the hall. So. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> Wheelchair is still there. 83. New customer. Hi. I have brought the thing. Open up. Here you go. You're welcome. I made it myself. Wouldn't give it to you if it wasn't safe. You're welcome. Save for later all you want, but you can't resist it. 85. Hello? Yep, delivery is here. Here you go. You're welcome. That's it. That was a smooth transaction. 86 now? No, 88. Perfect. Wait, I'm going as quick as I can. You're so picky. You better tip me. You only ordered one thing. There you go. Still just standing here looking at me? Okay. Now we'll go to 96. There's, oh, you wonder, I wonder if the baby's still gonna be crying. No baby. Good evening. I am here for the delivery. Here you go. Thank you for calling me sweetie, I appreciate that. An advice, I'll take it. Marla. Her name is Marla. So don't be afraid of the other residents. They're mostly okay. Alright, she hears the baby crying. I don't hear nothing. I think she's losing her mind. But okay. Her name's Marla, and apparently the other residents are fine. Fair enough. I'm thinking we're probably going to make more tapes than three this time, right? Probably like five. Let's see. I will say, though, this is very intriguing. It is very, very intriguing. Although we're already getting close to like the halfway point, apparently. Which is nutty, but I, I do. This is very experimental, very surreal, and I'm really into that. Like, I respect it. Okay. There you go. So only doing three again? Okay. Back to driving? Hell yeah. Ooh, we got someone walking on the road. I wonder if I could hit him if I wanted to. Chapter three. How many doors this time, you think? I'm thinking, like, last time we had, what, six? I'm gonna think, like, eight doors this time. 
Nope, same ones. Okay. Starting with 76 again. Does this look a little bit different? I feel like it looks a little bit different. Sir? You? I think you lost it. Am I given like the meaning of life? These people think they're understanding the meaning of life from these cassette tapes? Was like Pink Floyd? This guy doesn't sleep anymore because he's afraid. He'll remember nothing. Okay. 83, 85, 88. Come on, 83. What was that? What was the little ting there for? Everything seems fine. Everything's okay. I got your tape. There you go. Gonna give me a thank you? What? We used to bury our dead, we call them funerals, but we don't remember that. I wonder if anyone would come to my funeral, except there's nobody left? What? Okay. That's a little bit dark. Perfect. 85, got your shit. You know exactly what I want. Open the door. Here you go. Actually, I have been having trouble sleeping lately, sir. Barely slept. My terrors know the feels. That's called sleep paralysis. So people getting the tapes are seeing mutants, basically. Or monsters. Those people are sleeping. They're seeing monsters. Music's dead. We're out of room for the dead. Interesting. And like they're feeling like they're turning into animals when sleeping? Very bizarre. Okay. 88. And then 96. Hello, sir. My pride is not hurt by your words. As long as you keep paying me, you'll keep getting the tapes. Secret. Here you go. This guy thinks he's gonna rule us all? Okay. Where's the guy that was standing here before? Was he the guy that I saw, like, um... Walking down the road? I wonder. Doors open. Here's your tape. I got, I got your tape. Are you gonna pay for it or not? No? You don't want it? It's... But... Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Let's record three more of these tapes. Why not? One. Was that always on the desk? Oh no, that's what I just got out of the hotel room, right? It was like Pandora's box. Tool. And a tree. Three. Three licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop. These are Tootsie Pop commercials. The old classics. Do they still play those? I don't think they do. Those commercials were on every single break as a kid. With the freaking Mr. Owl. <laughs> Getting to the center. Chapter the fourth. Okay.
All right, now we're in Silent Hill for the room. Hi, would you like this? No? Not delivering anything this time? Okay, that's fair. This kind of hurts my eyes, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Is that... I don't see the wheelchair. That's not good. Huh. You must really appreciate me. Keanu Reeves, you okay with this? You've really done it this time, haven't you? Oh, I've really done it this time. Don't worry. What if he had, like, dialogue before, but I tried clicking him, I got nothing. Oh, 96 is a cursed room? Got Dan housed out? Okay. Oh, that's why I record the tapes. Why do I drive here? Why do I just, like, walk through the door behind me? Okay, this is really Silent Hill now. That looks like the, the actual tape itself. It's so strange. Wait, am I, I'm the guy walking down the highway again. Am I gonna see the... Huh. All oh, these must be the dream monsters that were being talked about. I wonder if I'm gonna see like the bike come by. And get like some time travel shenanigans here. It's just such a cool looking design though. That's awesome. Nice hat. That's it? Huh. So strange, okay. Huh. I don't know what to make of that one. Obviously very surreal. And like, very bizarre. I think the way they explained like how you had to play it was cool. And it worked. But I don't know what to make of the story and, like, what I just, like, did. So I know I'm considered a night slink. I know I made cassette tapes. I gave it to people. It worked like a drug addiction. They get very addicted to them. And the more they listened to them, the more night terrors they had. People were dying. Hmm. Obviously, it's going to be, like, a big metaphor for something else. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that one. Very strange. Like, I liked it. Like, I liked it a lot, actually. It wasn't even 20 minutes long. But that's fine. I just don't know what the plot was trying to tell me, but I like the way it presented everything. Like, I really do. It was a tough one to kind of commentate for, though. Because, like, you know, the voice acting itself had, like, that weird effect on it. So hopefully it wasn't too annoying to watch. I did my best... To, like, not just, like, try and talk over them, but also try and recap what they said. In my own little way, so hopefully that worked out. But, uh, yeah, that's Night Slink. That was, that was a cool little game. I just don't know what to think of it. That was just... That was strange. That was very, very strange. Like, I'm intrigued. I kind of want to, like, look into the plot a bit. And s see if I can figure out myself, like, what that was. But right now, I'm confused. But, uh, I guess we're gonna call the video there. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching this playthrough. Uh, Y'all have a lovely day, and as always, toodles y'all.